Yes, sir, you can go so ahead. currently, yes. So I just wanted to greet uh, uh, all the students uh, from second year, third year, and final year. So in this uh, in this webinar, I just want to share my experiences uh, and thoughts for you and uh, to become a successful mining engineers in the in India as well as the world. We try to focus uh, where the mining industry is going and uh, what you are expecting the future mining industry will be. And also, I try to enlighten your minds that which areas you need to focus to become a successful mining engineer. Since we got, uh, I just try to analyze some of the basic aspects and the grassroots causes uh, where the mining is starting and where it is heading to. So if you look at uh, the fundamentals of uh, stages in the life of the mine, we talk about prospecting and exploration and development and exploitation. If you look at the last 10 years uh, in the mining industry, each and everywhere uh, enormous technologies has been developed to explore the minerals very precisely and also to predict the challenges and uh, which are coming during the course of mining. Uh, exploration to development, development to mechanization, mechanization to higher mechanization. Even now, uh, as we go on in the 10 years time, you are going to talk about uh, deep sea mining. You are going to learn and uh, talk about uh, moon mining. I think uh, I do not know how far uh, you are uh, aware of. NASA has already on the way to do mining by 2025. Already exploration of minerals on the, uh, in our simple language we can say on whichever the planet, already the efforts are on. They discovered a huge amount of water on the planet and also some minerals has been found. The exploration and uh, the discovery of the minerals and the viability of mining, all it is out of the way. So what I will uh, advise you is that looking at the technologies, looking at the automation where we are heading, do not think I am a mining engineer, I am not worried about uh, what electronics is, just it is a matter of a lab or I am talking about instrumentation, it is just an experiment. Let me get away with this uh, pass mark and uh, anyway this subject does not come in second year, third year for me, only first year. Please don't uh, think in those lines. Please don't think in those lines because uh, the technology what uh, you are going to learn those subjects. Due to the change what we have seen in the excuse me, sir. Uh, your voice is actually breaking uh... drone cameras, uh, all this uh, all this are coming, uh, at a very rapid speed. And all these technologies are going to or mining atmosphere to predict the life of the mine and what may be the dangers may be associated and how as an engineer you have to predict and how you can cut down the cost because uh, the way the mining industry and the way business is going on is that as we keep on uh, going globally there is a huge competition in the global markets and very very thin margins are available for the employers or the organizations which uh, they are looking at uh, multiple skills. Don't expect that I am a mining engineer. I know mining. 
so i hope i will find a better job and i retire with it no that that uh, that concept is gone that concept yes it works out for me because i am a world student of 25 years working in the mining industry at that time it is okay as a mining engineer i learned mining abc of mining and i done a bit of geology and a bit of uh, legislation then starting uh, working into the industry and try to learn something where we come up but unfortunately the present generation you as students the industry is looking for a multiple skills from you and uh, you need to have basic concept of uh, automation basic concept of uh, sensors basic a basic concepts of the technology how we are uh, and during about that and also the experiments which are going to you come up please try to focus try to understand the core concept of uh, that fundamentals where the definition is coming what the definition means how it can be used practically without knowing the concept and coming out it will be i am not discouraging you if you want to become a successful engineer you need to try to make attempts in the lab how these mining problems can be integrated to the current technologies what we are looking at how the computer technology can be integrated to the mining problems how we can assess the atmospheric air in the mine by using such a technology and how the slope stability movements uh, as we are doing currently how it can be integrated how we can bring that technology to the to the software whatever means in a simple way uh, the digital mining what we are talking about is by using various technologies by using various softwares by using various types of sensors where that integrated model are the parameters we are making an effort to bring it to the laptop or bring it to the computer system where the real time data can be available time to time for the decision maker to work on that sir uh, is my voice is clear or i have to talk loudly no sir now it is clear sir now it is clear so the, uh, so my my uh, hello slide it is first slide only it is there yeah 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 i am coming there i am just finishing my introduction okay, then okay, i am going okay. to the slides yeah. it's okay it's okay yeah so the uh, so that's where uh, currently we are doing so the uh, the digitalization where we are going is nothing but all this digitalization come from the basic principles of science if you do not know what is the formula of specific gravity if you do not know uh, what is the bucket factor what is the fill factor what is the utilization of the machinery what is the breakdown of the machinery how to calculate the efficiency all that fundamentals to be very clear because don't think that a program will take care program will take care all that formulas have been embedded in the code it doesn't mean that already software will do something software will do provided you give a right data so the basic principles of science is very very important so now i will give uh, after uh, last 10 minutes for you people to ask some questions uh, let us focus now on the slide what we are talking about in the mining industry as we progress now okay looking at the slide what you are seeing here we are just looking at uh, a why we are going for a digitalization actually what it is what a digitalization will do in terms of mining we we'll let us see the mining we are looking in uh, three aspects one is safety point of view how how the technologies will help you to take the to have a safer environment and also we use the technology to analyze the data how that data can historically help me to take a better decision in terms of the cost and also overall how these systems can be integrated with a suitable technologies and suitable softwares to move forward maybe improving of the profits and cost maybe improving of the productivity maybe on the safety side to give a prior warning before it fails whether it may be a open cast mine whether it may be an underground mine okay as the slide you are looking at why we are going for a digitalization 
So one is we use this type of technologies I told you as we go one by one as we progress. Okay, here we are looking at the, what is the type of exposures, what are the hazards, what is the work environment, how our technology can be looked at. So we need to look at uh, one is the cost element in the business environment. What type of costs are involved in a mine? What is the operational expenditure? What is the capital expenditure? And how these technologies will help for the decision maker to improve the productivity and also to reduce the cost. As you look at it, some of the technologies where these are implemented, how you do the continuous mining operation, how we can predict the less downtime, what are the areas where the downtime is really happening, then how we have to maximize the production and uh, all the tough areas like uh, ergonomics point of view, safety or the isolation, whatever we are talking in those lines. And uh, coming here in the slide, what we are talking is the industrial revolution. Currently, we are in the fourth industrial revolution where we are working as a mining industry where we are. If you look at the graph, from 1800, the first industri industrial revolution has come up where you talk about water engines, steam engines in those days where they use it to run a train. That's where they started with the energies. Then slowly in the second revolution, you are talking in the mid, uh, just before 1900, you are talking about in the introduction of electricity and some mass production. Third revolution, we come with the IT, automobile and manufacturing somewhere just before 2000. Currently, we are in the fourth industrial revolution. That is where you are talking about machines, interacting of one machine with other machine, and uh, what type of uh, communication of the systems, how they talk, how they integrate, how the important parts you have to learn the basics of science in the electronics or the instrumentation, how one system communicate with the other system, how the systems are communicating what type of uh, sensor systems we are using, how we can interrelate or transform the data, the way from mobile phone to laptop or label to sensor, how the sensor behaves, what are the types of sensor that are Sensor is a very, very, very important technology in the coming world, even today for the future. Everything lies with the sensor. Don't uh, neglect the word of sensor when you come across. Sensor itself is a ocean. I am repeating, sensor is a ocean. Even if you are uh, trying to come up with the basics of science, you are driving a bike, you are driving a car, you know when the fuel is uh, getting empty on the dashboard it uh, shows that uh, it's empty. When the temperature is uh, raising, uh, on the dashboard, it show you that uh, the engine temperature is raising. It's coming from where? It is nothing but a sensor. Where it predict? It may be the flow of a fluid. It may be the capacity of the tank to versus the way it has been designed. It may be the temperature, uh, whatever. So even on the mining technology, this is similar types of technologies are coming and advanced to predict the movements to predict the dangers, to predict the behaviors, what type of sensor can be used. Because looking at the scale of accidents taking place in the mining industry, human behavior and human monitoring is almost outdated because the worker will be subjected to continuous stress, fatigue, manual method of uh, monitoring of the safety it's almost, uh, I'm not saying it is eliminated, but I'm, I'm almost seeing that it has been uh, introduced or dominated by the technology where we are getting better results. Even in underground mining, we are using some of the monitoring systems where we are putting the very high power sensors where we can predict uh, the behavior of the rock mass, how it can be integrated upon. Even on the open cast mine, we are going to use a very high power uh, sensors or uh, radar systems to move, uh, to predict the movement of the behavior of the rock mass. Some of the areas like in open cast mines where physically it is not possible to go and inspect the benches because of the danger zone or uh, because of the cracks developed at the open cast uh, 
benches where uh, physical uh, where physically we can go and inspect may not be possible at that time we are using drones to go and physically uh, go to a closer shot and take some pictures analyze the data and try, try to take the features of that geological model, model into the actual borehole data that's where we can precisely predict uh, what type of failure can happen and how it can be monitored so as we are talking uh, again here uh, the drones and robotics and uh, some of the integrated technologies which is going to take over in the coming generations so once again uh, as my dear students i'm very much emphasizing you to learn all these uh, integrated technologies artificial intelligence machine learning and also i drafted few articles how the artificial intelligence can be used uh, in predicting the human behavior or the boredom or maybe the fatigue while operating the higher capacity trucks in the mines and also in underground mines so everywhere uh, the technology integration integration of uh, technologies in the modeling systems all will play a very very pro prominent role in the coming uh, in the coming years so as we talk about the fourth revolution of the industry fourth generation we are talking about a digital mining we are talking about underground mine with the wi-fi and 5g systems where we are using the internet connectivity to function the the models are the functioning of the sensors what we are going to use and also data analytics and predictive maintenance this predictive maintenance come for the machinery where we are talking about uh, predicting the failure of a machine before it actually fails although we got various theories available condition monitoring predictive monitoring breakdown analysis whatever we are talking about and also there is some virtual reality simulation training virtual reality is also one of the concept uh, in the world where they are using so that physically a operator will be trained by using simulators so this simulator is also one of the technologies uh, which are currently and widely used in the developed countries and uh, we need to be know much about this and also automation of machines everywhere uh, now even in underground mines uh, or in open pit mines even 15 years back i seen a drill machine uh, uh, moving with a joystick the way the our children play with kids uh, using uh, some games similar way like with the joystick he's operating a very big drill machine which they are uh, drilling a hole and uh, leveling the instrument on its own leveling the rig on its own positioning the marking of the drill hole as per the computer drill plan everything without any human interference there is no not at all any human interference the the machine itself walk on the blasting pattern then it marks according to the computer whatever the command you give it then it the instrument level itself it start penetrating and it make the hole as per the program what you design this technology already i seen 15 20 years back almost all the machinery in today almost starting up an excavator even the guy sitting in the path australia he will switch on the machine somewhere for example you are sitting as a head office at collar goldfields at your college but the machine is working somewhere chitradurga or tumkur or bang you can switch on the machine just by sitting at your college so you got the technologies already and also you must also try to focus and look at the generals what is available in the library try to learn whatever possible from you try to refer the electronics or the instrumentation general how the technology is moving how the science is moving how these principles are integrated into our mining system because as a mining engineer you come out tomorrow and something a small problem happened then you say that i don't know oh this is not related let me call a mechanical engineer let me call an electrical engineer i don't think you got such a luxury life i don't expect so i'm not discouraging you i'm just motivating you please try to focus and uh, try to learn uh, all these aspects uh, it will help you 
it will help you very much okay as uh, we let me focus on to the other slide now how the digital transmission uh, transformation is going in the mining industry you can have a look at it initially we looked at uh, as a mining industry we look at always to have a higher productivity and uh, as we move we have to increase the profitability if we want to increase the profitability first you have to fix the basic structure what are the elements involved in the productivity how the productivity can be improved to improve that productivity what we have to do and also productivity or the profitability whatever you are talking it is uh, one is linked with other then again all productivity or profitability it has to be in line and combined with the safety so productivity profitability safety one is interlinked with other you cannot eliminate no i am a good mining engineer i given a profit of uh, 100000 dollars to a company but you made a fatal accident where a person died so the globally the share value is gone the reputation of your company is gone you may you may make uh, 100000 dollars but unfortunately you make a loss of 1 million dollars to the company by uh, by losing its reputation in the global market so productivity safety profitability all these terms must stand on the same page do not talk about productivity without safety or you cannot say i will uh, i am a best uh, company i have a very good safety to increase uh, maybe 100000 budget dollars to invest on safety but uh, you not done anything on productivity the owner again is not happy so you need to balance your life even the mining life with the budgets what has been provided and how it has been interlinked that's very very important as you look at uh, some of the items which is coming into this slide like robotics electrification digitalization and remote operations because uh, now uh, due to the hazardous conditions each and every place uh, the mining industry now we are unable to travel or we are using a technology like drones or other other ways to predict to know the exact nature of the behavior of the rock mass what type of technologies can be properly integrated properly placed to know the behavior or to know the or the predict the danger of the rock mass well in advance that is going to make a crucial role in uh, planning the mining operation safely okay, we are looking here what how we can connect the workforce what type of sensor systems we are using if you look at the dump trucks like operations how you monitor it and how you optimize it then uh, such a data will bring it to the computer and start analyzing how we work in 10 years back how you work in 20 years back and where we are working what are, what the changes you made then how it can be help to increase my productivity everything in a mining industry or any industry the data is the prime and root cause it is a root cause basis for the decision maker to understand what exactly it's happening with it may be the health of the engine it may be the health of the operation it is the health of the business where we are going so we need to predict and precisely look the value of the money where you are spending ultimately any business you talk it's a term it's all it's all money so productivity is important safety is important profits are important everything is linked one with another so while you are studying economics is important machinery utilization is important monitoring of the data interlinking of the data capturing of the data utilizing of the data all is very very important so even uh, you may have a very good technology but unfortunately you don't know where to use it so again uh, the things won't work out so in the coming uh, in the coming world as a future mining engineers you must has to be know all this grassroots levels very much fundamentals are important please focus on that and try to learn as much as possible within the college let us look at the assets what we are talking about what type of uh, data so we are using how autonomously it has been interlinked how the data is captured from the mines from where it is bringing to the laptops 
from there it has been taken to the mass storage devices then try to account it with the specified formats and the sheets whatever is available here then it will be transformed to the consumers how it is going to be used so how we are improving the mining operation and how the technologies we are using in the field and also how traffic is being controlled uh, all that uh, it will be monitored uh, with the laptops and uh, try to have the system if you can see on the slide on the screen it has been reported that a driver fatigue detected at truck number 17 recommended scheduling 30 minute break it means uh, there are various ways and uh, various uh, methods we use in detecting the fatigue of the operator I hope you people know where, uh, what is meant by fatigue, where the, per, the person need rest or the person become uh, tired, whatever way you can use the terms, where uh, the machine or the sensor will predict the behavior of that fatigue and warn the system so that uh, uh, the accident can be pre uh, prevented because he may get a drowsiness or he may get a sleep while he operating the machine, if you cannot predict this in time, this will lead to a major accident, even sometimes to fatal accident. I'm just sharing one of the experience I had when I'm working in the world biggest open pit platinum mine in South Africa, Anglo-American. In this company, they are using 350 tons dump truck, 350 tons carrying capacity of the dump truck. So what happened is that uh, they put a system to, uh, to monitor the operator uh, fatigue. What they done is uh, where the driver sitting on the cabin in front of, uh, in front of uh, the exactly eye movement is captured by the camera. Eye movement. I'm talking about the retina, how it is moving. So what will happen, that uh, camera exactly focuses only on the retina of the eye. What is the normal movement it takes place? As a, any, as a, any human being, it uh, does not matter what age you are. Okay, maybe every 40 seconds or 30 seconds, maybe 45 seconds, 60 seconds, this movement will happen once. So such time is already pre-captured in the system. If there is no movement happens after 60 seconds or 45 seconds within the predicted time, then the, then the system starts uh, giving warning and coming with a big voice. Because the system just predicted that your eye movement is not normal. If it does not move also problem, if it move too much also it will show. That means something is wrong. So when the production manager tomorrow comes to office and try to take the report, then the operator, whoever is there, it is shown on the graph, this operator is not well. So within no time, you can predict the behavior of the human being. So like this, uh, n number of technologies has been developed to predict, to know the behavior. It may be this technology, so you may use it in the method of working of the mind. You may use the safety side. You may use uh, conditioning, monitoring of the equipment, whatever. Everywhere the, you are living in a technology world, you are living with the technology in the digitalized world today. The way you are moving with Facebook and LinkedIn, also same way the technologies are developed very vastly and very fast and efficient technologies are being used. Almost all the developed countries like, like America, Australia, Canada, Chile, all these uh, major developed countries are already ahead with all these technologies what I am just discussing now. So definitely the mining industry, Indian mining industry also is going to follow the similar lines to cut down their cost and to improve the operations because the luxury of having more profitability or more thickness of cake, it is gone. It is just gone. 
in the old days uh, employers organizations are having a very high risk in the mining industry having better profits and uh, better cushion so they are not worried how the mining is going on but now it's no more easy task all companies are going for automation all mines are looking for improved improved profits <clears throat> improved productivity so all these steps to be taken very much into consideration so wherever you come across a subjects or such concepts please put a focus on that because you need to travel this worlds or you need to live with this type of technologies throughout the life of your career as a mining engineer there is no doubt there is no second thought on that there is no second thought so i think uh, we covered on this maybe how we can using the technologies and how this can be integrated to the cloud and uh, where we can take on that so the next generation that we are talking about the digital mines it will be powered whatever by cloud or artificial intelligence how the things can be taken up okay as we move in the future this is what you are going to talk about uh, the components and how it can be interlinked how the signal transformations are going on by tele or remote how the system communicate from one device to another device what type of methodologies we are using now let us uh, just focus in a mining typical mi mining environment how the mining vision we are looking at so you see now these are some of the things what we are talking about everywhere it has been in integrated with technology everything the detection or a printing or analysis or marketing each and everywhere there is a technology they have been incorporated each and everything there is a software available there are a lot of uh, corporate management and corporate companies are available to pro provide you precise solutions so but uh, whatever the solutions or whatever this technologies are coming up we must not forget that it comes from the basic principles of science if you cannot understand uh, 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 what is management uh, what is the principles of management or uh, in the management who is there you you cannot uh, understand what is facility management you are talking about a detection if you wanted to know what is detection first you must understand what the problem with it is existing what is the normal scenario then where it is failing how you can identify so each and everything is interlinked with the basics of the system or the basics of the mining what we are studying so i'm not uh, taking much into that but uh, almost you can see now some of the slides are just presenting only one of the slide but the technologies are very much integrated and this is how we in the real time we take the data and we try to analyze the data and the look uh, uh, what is the actual problem we are facing maybe we talk about 2 million hours or uh, you can see that number you are talking with the machine one of the machine with the 2.5 million hours nearly 3 million hours what type of injury is where it's going why the lines are coming down this is where now we use the systems to analyze a huge amount of data within no time within no time analyzing the system and try to have the uh, software use it to precisely monitor what is going wrong how it can be improved like that so this is one of the overall efficiency if you want to measure for the equipment whether it, it may be a beneficiation plant or it may be a mining operation again you can uh, as i mentioned just now we are having a plant time what may be unscheduled time what is the breakdown time we are looking at how the equipments you can monitor and how the productions you can look into that all that operations you need to look at and also the how the mining division what we are looking at and also one of the thing i have to focus you also there is a huge scope in the mining industry where uh, as you are thinking today the mineral is low grade and we are dumping somewhere but in the coming generations once this minerals are getting scarcity the technologies will develop to improve that low grade minerals to a commercial minerals there is a lot of research and development going on also to improve and benefit the minerals properly and how this can be integrated to our system so as we all know that uh, it's not that the mineral is once you extract it is extracted it's finished 
but there are so many minerals in india now we are unable to mine because of the geographical conditions because of logistics problems or maybe the deposits are located in remote places which the cost of mining is not viable but definitely the days will come in the coming years where we have to plan and to improve our in infrastructure to make sure uh, these minerals can be worked out uh, very economically okay i am giving a small uh, break where i allow the students to interact and to talk to me before i proceed uh, take up uh, another uh, session i am stopping here uh, let us have some discussion or questions to you before i have my thoughts on the next subject sir you can uh, stop presenting uh, i request the participants yeah. students to interact with the today's speaker if you have any questions or any uh, doubts you want to clarify regarding digital mining or not only digital mining it has wide experience for past 20 odd years in mining industry so if you have any doubts to clear you can clarify from him the session is open for question and answer I request a participant if you are willing to ask some questions to turn your mic and uh, you can you are open for discussion now you guys can feel free to ask me don't worry i am also a very old student and a very weak student in your in my college don't feel try to open and enlight your thoughts and ask whichever the language you are comfortable i try to understand and try to do my best so okay sir i'll start first uh, so that students will get motivated after i ask questions sir my question is uh, you have worked in both africa as well as in india uh, what do you think will be difficult uh, we are facing in india to implement digitalization what are the factors that affect that in implementing the digitalization sir, it is uh, it is not that uh, indian mining is not uh, doing digitalization digitalization is already taking place in the indian mining industry also but only the thing is that this digitalization or the technology development started with the major companies like uh, where they got a good capital budgets like coal india or singareni collieries uh, the big players uh, maybe naivali lignite corporation like this mines they are doing and also private industries like uh, maybe dalmia cements where i worked for few years in india before i come to africa so they are also using the technology sir technology implementation uh, is happening but what will happen in african countries is that uh, where we got a high value minerals we do mining like platinum gold diamonds so so we got a comfortable budget uh, to spend with that do r and d whatever we needed so in those lines uh, uh, slightly uh, slightly we can say small scale indian uh, mining is uh, also doing that but uh, it will take some time to come up that because there is no other way uh, to improve our productivity to reduce our cost technology innovation is uh, uh, inevitable i can say that okay sir uh, is there any questions from student side okay sir i think uh, one question has been posted in the chat box it is from parashuram prasad uh, let me see sir but how to um, okay let me see the chat box uh, uh, sir there you can see here uh, uh, yeah, yeah. i'll read i'll read sir uh, no 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 yes 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 i can see it i can see the question oh, okay, okay okay can you man can you mention a few mines in india that use the latest technology because some say india lacks in technology and uh, no parshuram it is not like that uh, india is a lack in the technology or something indian mines also um, very good in implementing the technologies uh, uh, because now i just written uh, one week back one of the question asked by exam which i answered a question they are asking about what is the latest technologies are implemented by coal india limited what what so already coal india limited is also using some of the technologies like to suppress the dust we are using a water 
now they are using now a fog some of the chemical uh, we are using to some of the chemicals we are using to suppress the dust and uh, also we are also implementing very sophisticated equipments uh, to measure and predict the behavior of the rocks or the dangers associated with it so technology implementation uh, it's not that india is lagging but uh, what uh, i am looking at is that only we are moving a bit slow compared with the developed countries that much only we can say but no way india is lagging on that but what will what is going to happen in the coming years is that uh, even a medium sized uh, enterprise is also moving towards the technology so now already the major government players as i told you maybe eastern coal fields uh, coal india limited or uh, naively lignite whichever the this major players uh, even the steel company steel authorities like gradually everyone is coming to technology uh, technology there is no doubt on that it's happening but only you know certain countries they are bit ahead than us they got various budgets and uh, do all the technologies but we also moving on that but definitely in the coming 5 to 10 years uh, we have our own indigenous technologies now government of india also focusing and increasing all the iits and nit rurkala nits uh, also to promote and uh, do some successful research which uh, india can sustain and implement to have our own technologies and depending with uh, another uh, technologies that is what also uh, is going to happen now sir one more uh, yes. actually no doubt i want a suggestion here actually our uh, finally students most of their projects i have seen this time they have done uh, related to digi digitalization only like let it be uh, dust monitoring sensors or uh, borehole water level uh, monitoring sensors or even uh, drilling uh, depth of monitoring sensors like this uh, most of the projects they have done based on uh, digitalization only do you think this will help them in the industry when they go yes yes it is very very important and uh, it will definitely help you don't think that uh, now uh, interdisciplinary intra disciplinary research is the way forward in the india national education policy 2020 government of india made it very clear that as a mining engineer uh, uh, you must try to do a project work if possible uh, uh, discuss with the computer uh, hod and you do something related uh, mining problem with artificial intelligence technology or taking one specified problem with the machine learning technology that is uh, well appreciated and uh, it definitely give an advantage and uh, i encourage the students must uh, uh, take such projects thank you sir is there any other questions or any good afternoon sir sir is ready sir this is vijaragwan sir cheppandi namaskaram ah namaskaram sir sir just uh, i have one question uh, how far this uh, digital mining will affect uh, the uh, the recruitment of uh, mining engineers if they implement in india sir i not got the concept please repeat your question sir means uh, if we implement this digital mining means automation yeah complete complete automation how much percentage of uh, the uh, recruitment means whether that will have a impact on the mining engineers and uh, and no, uh, no sir no sir no sir actually uh, what the industry is looking at is that uh, in terms of uh, employment are in terms of the success or the growth of the mining engineer or the value of the mining engineer remains same here here we are not talking about replacing the human being or replacing the mining engineer here what the industry is looking at is a running at a better efficiency at a lower cost with more profits so here mining engineer need to be adopt and learn more skills to become a successful engineer digitalization okay. or this technology innovations will help you for an efficient operation where mining engineer will be get more comfort 
in the real time environment when an organization is using a technology so that uh, whatever the designed designed targets to be achieved can be achieved successfully because we will predict such failures or we predict such uh, behavior or whatever in a early stage so that we can take up a proper schedule to prevent that ultimately we improve the profit of the company and to reach our goals so digitalization or technology does not uh, make any difference uh, with our employment uh, whatever uh, as a mining engineer as a mining industry director of mine um, uh, general of mine safety all the statutory positions to be fulfilled and uh, there is no substitute for that but only the engineers has to train up in the future industry he has to do mining engineering based on his interest he has to do masters in uh, uh, some uh, maybe automobile technology or heavy machinery side maybe something he interested in or passionate about electronics he has to study something such a, such courses such combinations are welcomed by the industry and also uh, the current uh, national education policy also recommending the institutes also to grow in those direction in those directions thank you sir is there any other questions or any doubt clarifications sir. from student side sir. hello sir good evening sir sir please ask the questions yes sir you are you not clear around yes yes yes, evening, yes 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 you are టెక్నాలజీ uh 20 when i come to kgf and i am studying in that college uh we don't have a pager we don't have a phone even i am leaving the college uh i don't know how to take address from my friend only i purchased a book from uh, geeta bookstore small book i think uh, not geeta iswari bookstore in uh, uh, in robertson pet am i right Yes sir, yes sir, you are absolutely right sir. Yes. So we, uh, we come from that buying a paper and writing the physical address. At that time there is no mobile phone, there is no email. But what happened? Uh, as you are sitting today, you moved from various, uh, various phases of life and uh, now you are connected, the world is on your fingertips. fingertips. But when I am studying on the engineering, I don't know what is for mobile phone. i don't know what is email address but i am also successful person you are also going to be a successful person so whatever the technology innovation is coming you can't stop it you have to be mingle you have to move with the technology if you look at uh, uh, 20 years back we got audio cassette from audio cassette you come to cd after cd you come to dvd after dvd you come to ipad then now uh, after ipad now you are saying everything just with the data you are going to google and watch any movie listen any song so in those days i still uh, remember when i am flying uh, when i am going to another country i try to buy some audio cassette in dubai get a tdk cassette and go to robertson bet you got a very very good uh, shops in kgf where we record tamil songs by using that cassette i used to pay 100 rupees to record tamil songs so and that is the music i live with but unfortunately all is outdated so you cannot stop everything is um, you are moving ahead everywhere the technology is moving even you look at uh, yeah even you look at uh, what i am talking about in those days we used to spend lot of money to call to my parents i i waited the telephone shop in robertson pet after 10 o'clock because 50% is the price um, department of telecommunication to make a one minute call 
but now you are making with whatsapp international call we are talking with a, with almost negligible amount of money even the banking services how many how many services we are doing physically in the bank now and how many you are doing today if you talk about 15 years back maybe you do not know you have to ask your father how many things we done in the bank physically going spending 500 rupees uh, 25 years back my father sent a money from vijayawada to kg it takes 5 days to come the money that 500 rupees and uh, now how many technologies you got you are talking about paytm you are talking about google pay you are talking about whatsoever so and how many uh, type of jobs you are doing on online applying a credit card buying the things so technology innovation technology changes can't be stopped it keep on moving only the thing is that we need to be part of that and we need to live with it and we need to dynamically we have to make our changes and innovations to sustain in this uh, in this world that is uh, that is my feeling are you convinced yes, so this just i want to add one thing sir it is a rule of nature that is when a new thing comes old thing will die but when something dies it gives rise to a new thing it is a cycle of life in this nature that is what i feel Yes, 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 yes. It's clear. I think, sir, there is no more questions. I think uh, can we uh, move on to sir? Is there anything you want to talk, sir? Shiratri, uh, sir. Uh, it's at twelve thirty now. I think uh, maybe we will take uh, maybe one more session uh, later in the time. Maybe some other day. because of my time is almost yes, 12:30 yes, yes, yes. yes sir some yeah. and uh, any more yes, questions sir, yes, students uh, uh, i can take one or two questions yeah i can uh, let, let me ask students uh, if they want to ask some questions sir 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 can you hear me sir yes yes thank you very much for your uh, presentation thank you very much for your very good presentation i enjoyed Uh, this is thoroughly. I hope all the participants enjoyed your uh, this one. Uh, this one uh, talk, uh, and you have enlightened uh, with uh, new uh, knowledge uh, for all of us. I have some questions. Can you please tell me uh, this one? What kind of project uh, this one student can take up in this one? Say, for example, in case of artificial intelligence or uh, this one machine learning. in relation to mining uh okay sir uh, i i send you few what currently we are doing at the phd level but uh, the students can no, uh, are, work on some of yeah yeah b level they have to do it we can we can yeah, i will of, give uh, yeah, as I of will, now yeah yeah I, I yeah 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 very good very good i will give some of the basic Yes, and uh, definitely I give you some of the topics and the problems uh, how it can be done in the engineering level. Maybe they can yes. explore uh, such a possibilities can help them to enlighten their enlighten their minds. I can do that. No problem. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, Manasa, can we go for a uh, lot of thanks? Yes, Ramya Manju. Thank you, sir. Uh, it's time for thanking the people who are behind the success of today's webinar. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank today's speaker, Mr. K. Shridhar Reddy, for sharing his 20 years of uh, mining and management experiences with the uh, students in uh, today's webinar. His detailed talk on how digitalization in mining is going to change mining industry will really drive students to think beyond syllabus and exam. Once again, I thank you, sir, on behalf of our. Uh, our president management principal dean hod staffs and students secondly i would like to thank our beloved president management principal, vice principal dean academics for their support in conducting such knowledge enhancing programs i would like all, uh, i would like to thank our uh, beloved hod dr manas mukhopadhyay for associating with uh, mr shridhar reddy for today's webinar last but not the least i would like to thank all our uh, colleagues staff members and students for participating and making this uh, webinar a grand success once again thanks to everyone
uh, I request all the participants to give the feedback after this session. The feedback uh, link has been posted in the chat box. Thank you. Thank you all. Sir, I request uh, uh, Shina to be online, sir. Thank you.